that we talk about in our cooking classes is how to saute vegetables without oil. Um, it's, it's really an easy technique, but people are always surprised that, that you can actually get good flavor out of your vegetables and out of your foods without using oil. And they're also surprised at how you can do this without food sticking to the pan. And that's what we're going to show you today. Um, usually when we're doing a saute or a stir fry, we always want to start off with a hot pan. Now we're using a cast iron skillet, which is one of my favorite skillets, and I like it because it stays hot, it holds heat well, so that when you're actually adding vegetables to it, it doesn't cool down a lot. You can use any other kind of skillet that you want, but um, this just happens to be my favorite. So what we often do is I start off with a dry pan, and i tell you why I do that. Um, if you add water directly to the pan with your vegetables, then all you're really doing is steaming those vegetables. When we add the vegetables directly to a warm pan, we're caramelizing the vegetables, which means we're getting a lot of the flavor that caramelization has to vegetables. When you start seeing the browning of those vegetables in the pan, um, that's flavor, and you want that in your foods. Otherwise, you're just steaming or you're just boiling, and you really do reduce the impact of flavor. If you've ever eaten stir-fried vegetables at a Chinese restaurant, um, it's that caramelization, it's that hot pan that they use that actually um, really, really gives you that simple flavor without adding a lot of things like spices or things like that. So we start off with our hot pan, we add our vegetables to that, and then we let them cook. And you can see almost immediately that these vegetables, are, are, our onions are browning and um, really starting to build that flavor. We're only going to add water, and we will add water, but we're only going to add it as needed to keep the vegetables from sticking or to keep them um, um, from, from burning if we need to. And if we add water, all we're going to add is just a tablespoon or two at a time, just enough to do what we call deglazing the pan. You don't want to have a whole lot of water left in the pan when you're cooking your vegetables like this because, again, that dilutes the flavor of the vegetables. And who wants that? When we're trying to eat healthy, one of the health things to remember is that we want flavor, we want our food to taste good, we're more likely to eat well um, if we like the taste of our foods. So this is starting to look really good. Our onions are, are nice and brown, we're going to add some peppers in here, and we're going to add some carrots in here. Look at that color. Nice bright orange carrots, green peppers, onions. This would make a good stir fry all on its own. We could add a little bit of uh, Bragg's liquid aminos to this and a couple other vegetables. We're going to add some broccoli to this and have a really nice stir fry and serve this over rice. But this is a technique we use this whether we're making um, vegetables for quiche or for soups or whatever. It's a really great and simple technique. You'll notice I've added just a little bit of water here, not a lot. My pan's nice and hot, so it, it, it's um, not cooling down a lot. The vegetables are cooking really nicely. Um, one of the things to keep in mind, there are some vegetables that do better than others with this kind of sautéing. So onions have a lot of water in them, so they, they don't burn right away when you put them in the pan. If you're sautéing something like broccoli, if you have a recipe to call for broccoli first, you, you have to be a little bit careful. You might want to start with a lower temperature in your pan because broccoli doesn't have as much water in it as do carrots and peppers and, car and uh, onions. So they, uh, they tend to burn a little bit more quickly. I've altered the recipes from time to time that didn't call for onions. If I'm using something like broccoli, and I'll add a few onions in there just to um, help sort of buffer the uh, cooking with the broccoli. So we're going to add our broccoli to this. Yum. Another thing that we have to watch out for, there, there are some things that, um, like you can't saute herbs in a dry pan like this. You can toast them. Um, if you get it too hot of a pan for things like basil and, and some of your leafy herbs, um, they will burn really easily. Um, garlic is another one. If you put that garlic into a hot, dry pan, it's pretty much going to burn very quickly. So often I'll go ahead and cook my other vegetables first. And if I want to add garlic, I'm going to add them in just a minute here. I'm 
Notice how I'm cooking off that water um, before I add any more to it. Vegetables are looking good. Once I add my garlic, you want to stay with your pan because it, it goes from being cooked to burnt very quickly, very easily. So this kind of technique works with a lot of vegetables. If you're going to saute kale or, or um, collard greens or something like that, saute your onions, add your garlic, um, add water only as necessary, and then add your chopped kale and go ahead and cook it. Add a water as you need it to until your vegetables are tender. And you don't want to overcook them here. Now one of the nice things we like about Chinese vegetables um, from a stir fry is, is that they're, they're crisp, they're not overdone. So we don't want to do that either. We don't want to overcook our vegetables here. Um, we still want that bright color in there and all the flavor of the caramelization as well. All right, so that's a pretty simple technique that you can use. And if you want to learn more, we're going to be doing some classes using this technique. And um, I hope you uh, like your fresh vegetables.